Hello guys, welcome to Oliver the Mechanic and today's episode we're gonna oil change uh, Toyota Hilux This one at the back is a 2.8 liter uh, diesel engine Toyota Hilux and uh, we're gonna replace uh, engine oil, oil filter, fuel filter and the engine oil This one, Toyota one and uh, hopefully you like this video but before we're gonna start the video I will shout out first to the owner of this one, Sir Cory, Sir Cory Thanks for trusting me or baby here, baby Hilux. And yeah, before we're gonna start, hit the intro first. Intro. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Okay, I will show you first the parts number. That's the part for the fuel filter. And the, that's the part for the oil filter. I think the oil filter same with the three layer, but if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, I think it's YCCD too. Uh, the same with the three liter one. And that's our oil. That's the recommended one. I think it's 0W30 C2. Yep, that's the recommended uh, viscosity of the oil. This one, and I'll show you the fuel filter location. This one, the fuel filter location. This one and the oil filter last time for the 3 liters here but it's not anymore here I'll show you where's the oil filter now for the 2.8 liter and before we gonna do this fuel filter I do the engine oil first I warm the engine already and I just want to like, pop this one up and open this one ah it's quite hard okay, there you go yep open this one so the oil is easy to drain later at the bottom. There go, just put it there. And actually it's already warm. The engine is warm. I like to drain the oil uh, when the engine is warm because the viscosity is different. Oh, the rubber is already removed there. Put this one back here. Okay, now I will drain the oil first. Okay, we're already at the bottom and we're gonna remove this cover. This one and this one. So we can access the drain plug there and the oil filter there. The oil filter is there. On the right hand side of the engine, it looks like uh, on the same on the like a uh, petrol one. High lux petrol, I think it's the same location. Uh, that's our oil filter. Right hand side, bottom one of the engine. Here's the sump plug of the engine oil, 14 mil. replace the oil filter later now we're gonna replace our oil filter by the use of these tools I think it's the right one that one and some extension and the ratchet this one yep that's the tool we're gonna use to remove this one oh we gotta get in here Okay, now it's already tight that one. It's already tight the drain plug. We're gonna loosen this one. It's a little drip, drop a little bit of oil there at the front leaf, but that's all right. We're gonna clean it later. Okay, uh, just take note guys, this one I already replaced the old filter and you see the rubber on this one stick on the housing there of the car so just keep an eye on this one, always check this one if it's still on the uh, oil filter housing because this one if you don't remove this one it will combine with the new one and it will create a leak so every time you replace an oil filter just don't forget to remove this one also because sometimes it stick on the housing there on the oil filter okay we already replaced with our genuine oil filter there yep. it's quite tight already and we already uh, tight that one also our sun plug and we're gonna bring it back actually there's a little bit of mess 
quite a mess but I already degrease it and later I will clean it with water and that one will be nice and shine again Okay guys, now we're upstairs. We're gonna replace the fuel filter and that's how it looks. That's the fuel filter. And yeah, it's quite a little bit complicated. Not like the other one, the other the old one, the three liter. It's only the two holes here. But this one has a four holes. But just don't worry. It's only simple one because the two upstairs, this one is a return. No worries about this one. The two Top one, uh, the main concern for this one is this one, the one that goes to the engine, and this one, the one that goes to the tank. I will show, oh, we're gonna mark it up. Uh, it's quite easy to see. We're gonna mark this one up first. This one is the one goes to the, the longer line. That one goes to the engine. And this one, the circle one, that's the one goes to the uh, the tank. So this is going to the tank. The fuel going to the tank here, and it will filter. And then this one will go to the engine. The longer one is going to the engine. That's our mark there. So you will be not mistaken. So yeah, we're gonna remove it now. Now we're gonna remove this one now. It's the top one. It's the clip. You need some rags also, so you spill fuel there later. One, just be careful with this one. Just try to turn it a little bit, not not quite tight because this one is like a plastic only. Be careful. One, grab some rags here because it will need to spill fuel. There you go. Ah, nothing. This one is the one that's the upper side thing. We can swing it here. This one also, you can uh, turn this one a little bit. Be careful because this one is a plastic, not too much. There we go. We can unhook this one here. There we go. Put it here again. There's some. Just hook it here. And then, yeah, that's our two main concern thing. Uh, we're gonna remove this one first. The one that goes to going to the engine. There you go. Turn this one again. There we go. And I think this one will spill over. So we're gonna put some rags here. There we go, just a little. Hook this one here. See, there's a hook there. Okay, and then we're gonna remove this one also. It's the last one. This is the one that's the circle one. Fuel goes to the tank. Let's spin this one again. Oops. Spin a little bit. There you go. As long as it's thin, it will come out. Okay, then we can put this on the side part again, side here. Okay, now there's no no hose. <laughs> Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make.